reviewing Dolce Vida in Miami Beach, Florida. This should be very interesting. This is going to be a Bidia inspired review. Everything I got today is Bidia based. Let's see what it's hitting on. This is the Bidia Rice Bowl. Yeah, that's pretty good. So this dish kind of threw me off for a second because they gave me a lot of chips. But underneath all the chips, at the very bottom, you have the red rice, the guacamole, the bidia, the sour cream, the tomatoes, onions, and cilantro. Is the meat season? I ain't gonna lie to you. It is. Does the guacamole and sour cream complement the bidia? Oh yeah. Is there enough rice in this motherfucker? Nope. Mm. Other than that, it's pretty lit. Looks like we got consomme, got a chip. Ooh. Compliment like that. Next we have tostadas. Ah, nah, I don't know about this one. So basically, you have a deep fried, a deep fried taco shell. On top, you have your meat, your guacamole, your sour cream, your tomato, your cilantro, and your onions. Basically, the same thing that's in the rice bowl. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what the hell happened to the meat on this one right here, cause the meat ain't tasty at all. It's juicy than a motherfucker, but it's nowhere near flavorful than what I've had on the last plate. I'm a little upset about that. We do got some more of that spicy sauce though. Ooh. Spicy sauce is good. As a matter of fact, I'm about to be fat. So they gave me two tostadas. We're gonna stack that bitch. Ooh wee. That sauce, that spicy sauce, carried this whole review. We have a Bidia burrito. Pressure. Jesus. So it looks like we have a regular flour tortilla, right? And this thing is stuffed with the works, man. Stuffed meat, rice, onions, cilantro, tomatoes. We got the beans popping off the bike. Mm. The meat on this one is definitely back on point. Assuming this is salsa verde. Woo! Mm. No. The sauce sucks. I mean, that's a whole nother level of, of fuckery right there. Consomme. Woo! Mm. That did it. Let's try with the chip, too. I will say this also, the chips here are pretty good. They're slightly sweet with a tad bit of salt. I like them. And last, but most certainly not least, we have a Bidia pizza, ladies and gentlemen. One slice going down. I hear you. I hear you. So this also looks like two flour tortillas. In between, you got the cheese and the meat. They ain't got all that extra shit that the other ones had, like the tomato, cilantro, and onions. All that ain't in here. When you bite into this, it's a nice, soft, crisp. Very delicate. You might find this to be pretty cheesy too, and a bit oily. The meat on this thing though, I don't know about the meat. I'm like two for two. Definitely some type of inconsistency going on with the meat. We'll try with the spicy sauce first. Douche. That crunch is mean. Very mean. The consomme, cansa. All right, man. This is why I don't understand why the meat isn't consistent. The consomme ain't nothing but the juice that the meat was cooked in. Why does the meat not have that flavor? Hmm. If you're in the Miami Beach area, check this place out. 